All right, we're going to do a video refuting the Calvinistic error and heresy that stems from Gnosticism of basically denying free will choice and moral accountability for your actions. Uh, moral basically accountability for your moral choices, I'll put it that way. Uh, because you see this denial of free will in Calvinism is basically, it gives grounds for you to basically just blame God for your sin. So when you sin, it was basically God who preordained it and really you know, you have no ability to do otherwise. You see, that's, that's that's Calvinism in its truest form because that's what Gnosticism actually taught. And Calvinism is just repackaged modern day Gnosticism. And John Calvin and a lot of the historic Calvinist theologians literally said that God is the cause and author of all sin. You know, and even that God created sin. Shown that I've shown that in other videos. I have a blog post about it. But I'm going to show some scriptures that clearly show that uh, free moral choice and personal accountability is a scriptural concept and you're accountable for your own actions. So, First of all, God punishes sinners because they wouldn't obey him, which is a fault of their own will, which they themselves caused. Okay, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 19 to 20. And it shall be, if thou do all and at all forget the Lord thy God, and walk after other gods, and serve them, and worship them, I testify against you this day, that ye shall surely perish. As the nations which the Lord destroyeth before your face, so shall ye, so shall ye perish, because ye would not be because ye would not be obedient unto the voice of the Lord your God. Very clear and uh, plain scripture right there, showing personal accountability. Ye would not if ye, you know, if ye implies free choice. First uh, Samuel chapter eight verse six to eight. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. And the Lord and the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people. And all of that they say unto thee, For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. According to all their all the works which they have done since the, since the day that I brought them up out of Egypt, even unto this day wherewith they have forsaken me and served other gods, and so do they also unto thee. Again, they're being held accountable for their own choices, which they themselves are choosing by their own free will. Personal accountability. Uh, again, sin is something a sinner does to himself by his own doing. Uh, Exodus chapter 32, verse 7 to 8. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go, get thee down for thy people, which thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt, have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I had commanded them, and they have made them a molten calf, and have worshipped it, and, sac and have sacrificed thereunto, and said, These be thy gods, these be thy gods with Israel, which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Again, they're corrupting themselves, they're doing this thing to themselves, you know, by their own choice. God's not forcing them or causing them to do it. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 9 verse 12 and the Lord said unto me arise get down get thee down quickly from hence for thy people which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt have corrupted themselves they are quickly turned aside out of the way which I commanded them they have made them a molten image they have made them they have corrupted themselves they are doing it by their own choice and they're doing it to themselves uh, Deuteronomy 30, 32 verse 5 they have corrupted themselves their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 29. Lo, this only have I found that God hath made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. See, we were made perfect, but we sinned and fell by our own doing, our own fault. Uh, contrary to the Calvinist doctrine that God actually decreed the fall of man. Genesis chapter 6 verse 11 to 12 the earth was the earth also was corrupt before God and the earth was filled with violence and God looked upon the earth and behold it was corrupt for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth uh, judges chapter 2 verse 19 to 20 and it came to pass when the judge was dead that they returned and corrupted themselves more than their fathers in following other gods to serve them and to bow down unto them. They ceased not from their own doings, nor nor from their stubborn way. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. And he said, Because that this people have transgressed my covenant, which I commanded their fathers, and have not hearkened unto my voice. Again, the personal choice and personal accountability. Hosea chapter 9, verse 9 to 10. They have deeply corrupted themselves, as in the days of Gibeah, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, therefore he will remember their iniquity, he will visit their sins. I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness, I saw your fathers as the first 
I was the first ripe in the fig tree at, at her first time, but they went to Baal Peor and separated themselves unto, unto that shame, and their abominations were according to as they loved. See, again, it's their own doing, their own fault, and their own uh, choice, and they're held accountable for it. And God wanted them to be perfect. God wanted them, you know, wanted what was best for them, but they went astray by their own fault. Also, the fact that God is not the cause of sin, and when the saint sins, or when the sinner you know, the unsaved sinner or even the saved saint sins, they're doing it by their own choice. Further proof of this. Uh, Galatians chapter 2, verse 17 to 18. But if while we speak to be justified by Christ, we ourselves also are found sinners, is therefore Christ the minister of sin, God forbid. For if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. You're doing it to yourself. You're making yourself one of those things. You're making yourself a transgressor. You're, you're sinning by your own choice. Uh, James chapter and it also says Christ is not the minister of sin, meaning you know he's not the cause of this. And this other scripture, James one verse thirteen to fourteen, is for the proof of that. James chapter one verse thirteen to fourteen: Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. That's the simple truth of the matter. God's not the author of sin. He's not, Christ is not the minister of sin. You're making yourself a transgressor. You're drawn away by your own lust. You're corrupting yourselves by your own doings. Plain and simple. But if Calvinism were true, these scriptures would be irrelevant because God is actually preordaining you to do it. He's preordaining you to do it, but then gets mad at you for it anyway. You know, that's the God of Calvinism. See, God commands one thing, but decrees another. So how can you really believe God? You know, the God of Calvinism is untrustworthy because he decrees, you know, thou shalt not commit adultery, but actually he, his secret will, they would say, is that actually thou shalt commit adultery. You know, the God of Calvinism is a false God, plain and simple. And these scriptures clearly show that you're accountable for your own choices, which presupposes free will. So anyway, don't be deceived by Calvinism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.